Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome to Star Sector. We are going to be doing a Galactic Conquest, everybody. Like, what, what are you talking about, Galactic Conquest? Well, I've gotten ourselves some mods. If you want to see what they are, please check in the description. But one of the mods called an X-Ridden mod pretty much turns the game into some crazy 4X um, super dream if you're a strategy gamer. So it lets factions attack each other, invade territory, colonize new space, and of course you can dominate the galaxy if you so wish. Now I'm going to be deciding the game right away. I have added quite a few factions as well to this glorious lineup, and I'm going to be playing as my favorite one, which is called um, Diable Avionics. You'll see what they're like, baby boy, but they're pretty amazing. So I think the most important thing when we're starting a new game is Star Setter is of course to figure out what we are going to be looking like. So this is not what I would imagine my superhero looking like, no. Um, I have blue eyes, it's totally different. So if I, actually I have green, but don't don't count on that. So we've got quite a few portraits here, and luckily because we've got mods installed, they come with some new ones, such as this man right here. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I've I think I've got a thumbnail of a band over this one already. <laughs> I've seen this somewhere before. I've seen this man. Now, of course, we are playing as a high tech mechanoid. Not mechanoid. Like they have mechs and stuff. This faction, everybody. It's going to be very exciting. So, I feel like we're going to be playing. Is this man right here? Is she is he a man? I don't know. This robot person right here, and he will be leading our glorious navies to victory. Now, if I just press continue here, it kind of starts off as you would expect, but then the game starts to change from base game because you can see it's now telling you about the next ridden mod. Um, you can feel free to pause it if you want to read what that says, but we'll be pressing next right now and going further forward. Now, if I go to the settings, I'll just quickly show you people what I've done here. We will not be playing on Starfire mode, which is kind of the hard mode of the mod, because it means all the factions try and murder you, which is not exactly very good for my situation. But instead, we will be making sure that we start in the core. Skip story. Sure. I don't really want any of that stuff, so we'll, we'll skip that. <laughs> I'm not leaving the core sector. I'm invading the world, everybody. It's fine. Uh, random start location, sure. Prison Freeport, yes. Now, most of this probably won't understand what this means, um, but still with everybody. Now, one thing I will do is what I will explain is that normally in this mod, if you kill a faction, like actually wipe it out from existence, they have a chance, if in the settings, to respawn at some point in the galaxy and just like go in the outskirts and try and regrow their empire again. This is turned off because we want to make sure that we actually try and defeat everybody. So we're going to make sure this is off. And also, we're going to make sure we apply random relations, including pirates, because for some reason, this faction starts at peace with the pirates if it's on default, which is not great if you're trying to start a new game because you can't do much without killing pirates. <laughs> so hopefully this works, but we'll find out what happens there. Uh, enable randomized core cool world, yes. Oh wait, can we see the factions? Uh, here are the factions of everybody, if you want to see the lineup. As you can see, there are slightly more than base game. I'll probably say two or three times. Here's our one right here. It looks like it's some kind of corporation, but they are very militaristic. They're trying to recreate the Empire, so it sounds pretty cool to me. Anyway, I feel like apart from that, we should be good to go. Let's press proceed, and let's actually pick our faction. So I will say from the start, yes, you can play this mod with your own faction if you want to, or just do like a regular start and make your own faction then, but we will actually be playing as a part of another faction to try and help it take over the universe. So uh, I'm going to be playing as Diable Avionics, and we are, of course, going to be playing as an ensign which is just a level one little rookie boy with one single ship trying to make a name for himself now i will say as cool as this faction is with all its super mechs and uh, transforming ships um the starting ships you can get are pretty bad <laughs> so it's fine don't worry about it we will just start off and just hopefully not die at some point okay ensign yes so it's pretty cool by the way if you do want to just start off as like a leader of like massive navies you can you can just do this you can just start off with like max and everything and just be a, a mega lord right from the start. But we're not going to do that. Make sure that's all back down to zero. I think it was on 20, wasn't it? 20, zero, ensign, go. Oh, <laughs> there's one more menu apparently. And now, of course, I absolutely adore, love the perk system in this game. All the perks are really, really useful in this game. Like, you actually have to try and think of what you need because a lot of the time they're all very, very useful. Uh, we are going to be picking Combat Endurance though, which actually increases your operating time in combat, which I find extremely useful against the AI because they normally fall apart while I'm flying around like a badass, so <laughs> it's always pretty handy. Anyway, if people haven't seen this game before, they'll probably be very confused on what I'm doing, but you'll see in a second. This game's kind of like Bandlord, but in space, and it works. And here we are, everybody. We are in space. Now, of course, we just pick random starts. We have appeared near a random settlement of our glorious nation, uh, which apparently looks pretty terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think there's going to be very military stuff here. So what we're going to do at the start, at least anyway, is I really want to show some people uh, the epic ships of this faction. We're not going to go through all of them. I just want to show you, like, what this kind of faction is. So we are, of course, Diabol Avionics. It's a pretty cool faction, which is uh, has aspirations to recreate the Dominion. You can see here by all the flavor text and whatnot. Now, you can already see from the faction's page here that we are currently at war with the Dazalt Mayukan. <laughs> sure, I, I guess that, that says probably what it says. Uh, the Hegemony, the Ludic Path, and of course the Pirates, which we need to be killing so we can actually play the game. Uh, though the Pirates seem to be at war with pretty much everybody apart from the Imperium. And the... What, really? <laughs> I did put it on random, so we can't be that surprised, let's be honest here. Anyway, yeah, so uh, our enemies are pretty... Well, these three are base game enemies, and this is a mod unit, uh, mod faction. So at least we've got a good section of enemies to actually fight here. Um, if we go into the actual set map, let's have a quick look at it. Where are we, everybody? It looks like we're in a system which is pretty much dominated by the Sindarian um, Didac. Which is pretty interesting because uh, you think we'll be somewhere else. But this is the Corsetta. It, oh, it seems our main military base is next door. Um, in the Duad star system. Uh, this is randomized, of course, so, so all this has kind of just been put in place for this very save file. So it's going to be pretty uh, unique each time you play the game. Uh, we're probably going to head over to there first because, one, that's where all our military bases are. And two, it's also where pirates are, so I can kill them to get experience. So it's pretty handy. Now, um, as well, I will say, I think I already said that this ship is not exactly that stellar. So let's quickly just show off in the old simulator. And also, I want to fight against one of my own ships to show you how cool they are. So this faction has some very high-tech stuff. It's pretty cool. It kind of has very high-tech, like, transforming ships and pretty interesting weapons. But its main focus is mechs. Um, you'll see in a second. There are mechs, everybody. Uh, oh. I'm not going to win this, by the way. It's a simulation. <laughs> We're simulating a catastrophic failure in command where I had to go against a enemy battle carrier using a frigate. Let's see. So... Here they are. You can see there are literal mechs. <laughs> now, these are technically just fighters that have been just changed around to be mechs instead. But they are pretty awesome because a lot of them have a lot of unique um, features. Let's try and dodge them and stuff here. So you can see here they got some, well, what looks like fighters. And a giant mech here with a giant bow gun? What is that? I don't know. Raven. 9th Gen Wanza. It has a, what is it? I can't really tell what it has, but it's probably going to kill me if it gets in the right. So, and also got these little fighter guys. So, like I said, a lot of the uh, ships here actually transform. Well, I have point defense. That's pretty handy. So, if it gets closer, you'll see they will transform into mechs. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Then they can just kill me. It's pretty terrifying. So, yeah, this uh, faction's got a lot of mechs. Uh, they're very different. So, you can get ones with Gatling guns, sniper rifles, even swords. It's very, very dynamic. It's pretty awesome. Yes. I damaged their ship. <laughs> Victory. Oh, fatal error. No. Hello, everybody. Moving swiftly on from that random crash. I like how I've been playing uh, Star Trek for years, and that was the first crash I've had. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. I'm not. It's actually the first crash I've had. But anyway, it's fine. And hopefully, that was a coincidence because the game was surprised by my crazy attempt to kill the enemy battle carrier by crashing into it with my dead body. Uh, so if we go and look at some stuff here, this ship is not very good at anything, really. It's a terrible ship. I've already mentioned this. So we need to try and get this ship out of my way as soon as possible because uh, it does actually looks like it starts with uh two random what are these anti-shield kinetic guns interesting interesting we've also got ourselves some um, missile launchers i'm not really a fan of missiles everybody i'm not gonna lie if i can i would probably get rid of the missiles and have something else uh pierce sandwich press the half down interesting so we'll leave this for now we also got uh, a nice little point defense as well. Let's just make sure its weapon groups are okay. Alter alternating? No, thank you. I never like alternating weapon groups. It's terrible. <laughs> Actually, let's just do a little quick test fight and see if we can win against a basic pirate. Uh, let's see. Where is an enemy hound? I like how I chose a hound, even though it's got no shields. <laughs> so, my main weapons are kind of useless here. It's fine. I gotta say, though, if this is actually a weapon of my faction, why is it white and everything else is red? Uh, it's okay, don't worry about it. Oop. So what is my F ability? 1,000 strength shield temporary. That's pretty badass. Let's, let's give these guys a shot. Take this! I'm not doing a very good job here. I kind of feel like this weapon's a bit too slow for me. 
I want a faster weapon. I want a big old rail gun or something. Oh, that was a nice hit, though. So I think we can kind of survive this ship, but we're not going to be that good at fighting, really. It's not really the kind of ship I'm good at using. Oh, I love it. I love it. The meat, everybody. The meat is beautiful. I've had my dinner. Perfect. We can kill a basic cat. I'm just hoping we can survive there. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves some backup, because we, of course, we do start with 2,000 uh, pounds. What have we got for sale here? Tankers, a broken frigate, and a broken uh, freighter. Not exactly combat-worthy ships there. And also, I can't even afford any of them. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? The Versant Hybrid Wanza. This, okay, so I have played this one before, of course, and this faction. This is probably my favorite ship of all time. Um, it is a frigate, of course, but if you've watched my prior series, you would know that I am very, uh, I like playing as frigates. I like having fast, nimble death ships. This is the epitome of a fast, uh, nimble death ship. It actually transforms into, uh, it has two modes where it goes really, really fast, or it has a combat mode with, like, some crazy long-range turrets, so it is amazing. But it's too expensive for me right now, so instead, we are going to probably grab ourselves, um, a kite... Now, these are not great ships, but they are, as aptly named, great at kiting enemies. So they could be used to distract the enemy while we're running around. Uh, what is this? Let's give it a anti-shield. Thunderbolt. Problem with these missile launchers is that they're all, like, ammo limited. So I guess I can give him some stuff, but it's not going to be very helpful. Anyway, that can be our little distraction ally there. What I just do there? I don't even know. I probably shouldn't accidentally skip past uh, text in case it's important. Done. Okay, so repair ship. Yes. Let's move out, everybody. We're going to head over right away to our our friendly place over here. Let's go to maximum speed. Now, I have already customized my little hotkeys down here as well. So they're actually what I want them to be. Because at the start of the game, it kind of just like throws them up on your display. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're just putting them all over the place. It's fine. Okay, so I want to go this... Wait, were we in the same star system? Were they connected? I don't know. No, they are separate systems. Cool. Well, this looks like it's our homeworld. Actually, is there a way to... Do we have a homeworld in this game? Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, There must be a way of finding that out. I don't know. I don't know. Well, whatever, it's fine. This place looks like it's got a lot of stuff anyway. There's two military bases, and there's probably going to be a lot of ships to buy. What is this thing? I don't even know what that is. Uh, oh, look at all these options. <gasps> they're here as well, and they're cheaper because they're damaged. I think that'd definitely be worth buying one of those as soon as possible. We're trying to save up for that ASAP. But as you can there's already quite a lot of options here, and there's loads of random ships we can get as well. Uh, now, if I just go back into the sail thing here, are there better weapons I can potentially buy? Doesn't look like it. So, I didn't like this at all, to be honest. It was very slow. Um, let's see. Does it say somewhere what the... Oh, sorry. Is, does it say somewhere what the speed of this weapon is? Accuracy, damage type, relay... Hmm. Multi barrel brute force approach. I feel like this one may be better. Let's give this a quick shot and see if it's any better. And if it's not, we can just put it back. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to shoot this round guy. It's like a shotgun. I like it. <laughs> oh, what's your special gun? It's got a shotgun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh my. This is looking bad. <laughs> you even got a shield. Wow, yes. Okay, we have found our upgrade, everybody. <laughs> I'm using this weapon instead of the other one. I really like it way more. Okay, so let's get rid of the other two. And let's sell some stuff off. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. What are these? Have I been given blueprints for my faction? Yes. Ship blueprint package. Yes. Weapon package. Yes. Wanza package. Yes. Perfect. And the Janus device that lets you use fast travel, which is also helpful as well. So, is that a pirate? We must investigate. Oh, it was a pirate, but it's dead. <laughs> well, screw you, game. So we have, of course, started off as an ensign anyway, so we have to try and find ourselves some combat to level ourselves up and whatnot. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade my capacity a little bit more. 
Let's have a quick look. So, the enemy is over this way, but they're literally next to my ally. <laughs> they are, I don't think there's going to be any pirates in this location, but you never know. There might be. Let's quickly do a quick save. I like how the game, like, vibrates as you save. What is happening here? Oh, what is that? What is that? Is, is that a bouncy fleet? What is happening? I can't scan it for some reason. It seems terrifying. Oh no, it's a friendly ship. Wait, why has it got an exclamation point though? What does this mean? Look at all this guy's stats. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of stats right there. Weak engines though, that's a bit devastating. Is this like a AI fleet? Why does this have an explanation point? Well, let's ignore that and move on with our lives. I don't know what's happening there. Okay, we found the enemy pirate base, but as I said, I don't think there's going to be any survivors because of their proximity to my friends here. So we may have to go somewhere else to try and find ourselves some enemies to fight. Interesting. Yeah, they've killed everybody. There was a faraway signal to the bottom left, though. Every time I scan, by the way, it increases my range, and you can see stuff that's far away. So I think over here... Oh, this is another destroyed ship. I'll take it. Thank you, game. So maybe then we should just do what we do when we do in uh, Star Sector, which is look at the bounty screen. And we will see if there is a nearby bounty somewhere. So, Nosos has a bounty uh, due to pirate activity, but they're not actually hostile to pirates, so it's probably not related to that. Uh, this place has a bounty against pirates, so let's head over this way. Wait, oh, wait are we at war with those people? No, it's the Reparation Society. <laughs> what what kind of fashion is that? I have no idea. Can I make it over there, by the way? Because, of course, I can make it over there. We can limp our way over. So I've got to be very careful, because I'm not exactly sure who I'm at war with yet. Well, we know... I did look at it earlier, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a problem, everybody. Let's go through this way. Ooh. Oh, I just flew right into an energy storm. That was not a great start. It's still quite far away. Oh, whoa. I don't know what, who these people are. The best thing I think about uh, Star Sector is that the enemy can kill you at any second. It, it, it doesn't care if you're level one. It, the enemies are just as powerful as they will always be. Okay, made it. So normally, how I like it as well, if there is a bounty in the system, it does mean that there is probably quite a lot of activity from the enemy faction. So, if we take a look around here. Let's see if we can find any enemies. Uh, we need to go this way. With my extremely pathetic fleet. So, it's pirates, right? So they're probably going to be near any kind of like trade lane entry points and also their base their self. There's no one here, though. There is no one here. Let's try over this direction. The game just gave me 40 grand. Oh, we get a wage based off our rank and our commission. And also we get stipends from the Gax Academy. Do you know what this means? It means we can just go and buy one of those ships. Oh. Enemy spotted. Maybe. No, there was a battle here at some point, but there are survivors. There is a bunch of enemy ships there. I'm not keen on fighting that, though, because there was six of them, I think. They, hmm, they're they running away. Not from me, they're just ignoring me. Oops. Take it, take it, take it. What? The enemy's in range? Seriously? Hmm. We're going to give this a shot. We're going to be very cautious. But I think we'll be fine. The reason being, looking at this, is only... I don't recognise this ship, actually. What is this ship? Maximum speed. Where does that say that? 140. So really, my ship is pretty bad, but it also it's pretty fast. So, I, apart from that, oh, the hounds are going to chase us down, though. Let's start the battle. Let's see how it goes. 
Because you can really pull back at any time, really. It's not, you're not really stuck in a battle like in other games. You can just leave when you want. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm leaving now. Then you all have to retreat afterwards. It's not like you can just leave for free. What is this? Oh, that is ridiculously fast. What kind of ship is this? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. The enemy was vastly better than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> this ship is ridiculous. This ship can probably solo both my, me and the my little friend down there. What kind of ship is this? The pirates aren't going to have amazing ships. They're going to be terrible. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over. Help me, missiles. Protect me. Oh! Fire, fire, fire! Damn it! Why am I not firing? Oh, no! Oh, man. The amount of near misses of these weapons is driving me crazy, everybody. Yes! Okay, main enemy down. Main enemy is down. We can recover this. We can recover this. Not firing for some reason. Oh, I got hit in the back there quite bad. My ally is still alive though. That's why you want to kite everybody. It costs like five grand and you save yourself. <laughs> okay, let's back up. This thing hasn't got a shield. And I think for some reason this weapon doesn't work. That wasn't very good. This is a very dangerous first battle, everybody. I've got no missiles left. Oh no, you got to be kidding me. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. We're fine. <laughs> we will never surrender. We're chipping him down. This is where my um, trait to have increased combat readiness comes in handy. Because I'm going to be able to last these guys longer. Ooh, kill that, please. Kill that, please. This is the missile I want for my kite, by the way. These missiles are infinite. They never stop happening. <laughs> it's going to be a continual stream of sadness. Okay, that ship there looks a bit dangerous. I know it's a, a basic combat freighter, but it's got like loads of guns on it. We probably can't kill that. Oh no, that's bad, that's bad. Are you okay? He's okay. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, those missiles are so annoying. Okay, you pull back, friend. You pull. We're going to pull back and retreat, I think. But we have got some kills here. I see to wait for this to end up. Unless I can kill this guy. We're backing up, we're backing up. Oh. Now, we have actually managed to get a clean disengage, which means if you have killed enough of the enemy, you can retreat without them being able to follow you. So we can just leave this battlefield. Um, I did take a lot of damage there, unfortunately. <laughs> I took a lot of damage. Um, yes. We are going to disengage. Run away. <laughs> I really want to kill me. So, kind of at the start of this anyway, you've got a very awkward situation. Because your ship's not that good, really. The enemy is going to outnumber you pretty much every single time. You've got to try and survive. But you can literally nibble away at the enemies like I just said and get some experience. I leveled up from that and carry on living. <laughs> carry on surviving. Uh, I got a reputation for that. So there's a lot of mods running at this point. So we've got loads of stuff going on. I'm trying to find what I was just looking at there. There you go. Interesting. So based on how your ships perform in combat, you can get like certain traits for ships and whatnot. So it says here that... Um, of course, my little friend there, deployed, now known for being deadly, plus damage, but he has rickety hard points, weapon recall. So if you do really badly in a battle, you can literally um, just flat out get a good negative debuff. I'm surprised I didn't get one, to be honest, because I didn't do that well there. <laughs> I did pretty bad, but to be fair, I did deploy 
So I think, but quote me if I, I don't hit this as a fact here. I'm pretty sure this is a ratio of damage compared to the damage you took, but I'm not exactly sure because this is clearly not a total of the damage inflicted because it doesn't add up. But I think I inflicted 92% of my whole point kind of thing. That's like a ratio. So I think I did pretty, I, I did okay. The, the weapons were not great. I didn't deploy it that well myself, but we did survive. How are they still this fast? Well, looks like they won a round two. <laughs> uh, let's go in again. We have recovered a little bit of our strength here, but not too much. Ooh, this is going to be a bit dodgy. We have got our missiles back, though, so if we're lucky, we can just wipe them out with that. My allies' CR is very low, though, because we ran out of crew. These hug... Uh, these can... Oh, this is different. Now, what I would like, want to be alternating is those missiles. We've got the same weapons, buddy. I can have to back up now. Ah, that's not good. They have a anti-shield heavy weapon there. What we should do, you should engage that guy. This will set me up. Oh no, he's dead, he's dead. Oh no. Well, it was a, it was a tra it was an equal trade of death there. Yes, 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 yes. One v one. This should be very easy. Um, let's face it, everybody. This guy has one weapon. He has no other defenses. So I'm going to move towards him. Just kill him. This is where my actual ship trick is very handy because I flat out can pretty much ignore his weapon if I press F, so. <laughs> oh, that was a bit sucky, everybody, but we survived. We survived. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, ship recovery. No, I want my recovery. It's difficult, so I had to require a story point. No. I'm sorry you've died, my beautiful <laughs> kite. <laughs> you had a good life there, friend. You had a good life. I'm sorry. It's broken, game. It's broken. Get rid of some of the fuel. Got the crew back. Recover the weapons. Get rid of that. Run away! Now the good news is I actually made a profit off that somehow, and I got some spirits. Now we did lose a ship, of course, but it's fine. Let's pull back to a nearby location. And as I actually have enough money already to get that good ship, we're just gonna go get the good ship, everybody. So if I head back to uh, Duard. Where is the nearest way to get there? Let's go this way. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I think we got pretty lucky there, because, um, that original ship that in the first battle was ridiculously powerful. I think there's lots of pirates here. I've got to be very careful getting back at home, because they can just wipe me out. I level up? I didn't level up, I just got some experience. Okay, never mind. <laughs> What about the Yava Bow? Did I get a thing on that? Contacts, local fleet log. Nope, that's not it. Bounties, mission, commission. Huh. Reports! Reports! Huh, fair enough. Okay, let's go and get a ship I actually can use, everybody, and let's, let's start kicking some ass. I swear, though, because I know people, when I played last time, a lot of people mentioned how they played the game. And like, I think I play like, cause I like fast, simple ships. A lot of people like the root, like these kind of ones, like the, the heavy, well not heavy, like the slower, more deliberate shooting guns kind of ones. It's quite interesting. But this game offers you a lot of choice. So if you want to play like a carrier commander, easy. If you want to be like a big old broadside ship, easy. <laughs> it's a lot of choice. Okay, hopefully they still got this ship for sale. I want to buy a super ship, sir. It's so beautiful. I accept. Now you think, I've got no money. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this ship has inbuilt weapons, which are deadly as anything. It's got these two inbuilt harvester. It's amazing. You'll see in a second. Uh, as my Wayne weapon, though, I can probably grab. 
because it's got a massive medium hard point on the top of it. Let's get two point defense. These are these point defense are doing a great job, by the way. Uh, they they were doing a lot of damage there. What do I want for the main weapon? So the harvesters are kind of a general energy weapon. Let's go for a hyper velocity driver, which is another one of my favorite all time great weapons. We'll grab one of those. Uh, let's what we do. I'm going to be manually using the high velocity driver. Harvesters can be automated. And we we'll go from there. The reason being that they're very rapid fire weapons. I the AI is very good at using them. So you'll see when we start fighting. Was this burst? Um, no, I kind of feel like semi-auto is best for me. There's fire modes, by the way, for the harvesters. That's what's happening here. It changes how it works. You can see you've got semi-auto, you got auto, you got burst. I prefer semi personally. Uh, okay, anyway, let's see. Maximum vents and auxiliary thrust. We are going to be a very nimble person. <laughs> can only move, but I'm under my command. <laughs> that was a weird one. I was like, sorry, you can't do this, sir. So, if I go into a battle again, and I quickly show you the difference between me fighting a enemy best, the other ship. Let's get the shot. Oh, look at this. It's amazing. Hi. We need more. Bring it on. <laughs> I love this ship. It's absolutely amazing. So even if you're fighting a fast enemy like this, you can switch over to uh, rapid mode and you can kind of get your own distance and then open up, destroy. Back up. As you can see, it's a very high tier ship. <laughs> Unfortunately, the flock is not brilliant right now. We probably want to get some better stats for our character here. But I said, it's not an invincible ship. As you can see, it's got what I would say a glass cannon, everybody. It's very powerful, but if it gets hit, you're going to just have a horrible day. Actually, I think what I did, we'll we look into it a bit later. I think at one point I actually decided just to get rid of the other weapon on the front and just have like really high flux capacity and stuff, but we'll do that later. Anyway, this is my new ship, everybody. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. We will keep this guy going. Um, I think we'll see if he can handle himself with the AI as it is. Also, as we are using a lot of mods as well, if I go into here, so you can see there's some automatic commands, which is very awesome as well. So I can tell it, for instance, to retreat on uh, whole damage and also retreat if your CR is gone. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Cool. So now it's automatically going to retreat when its CR starts degrading. So you can maintain, well, get rid of micromanagement and also have it working pretty well. Something I think this ship needs as well. I don't think we got it unlocked the character though. Ah, that's something I've missed as well. One second, everybody. I need this. Yes. Maximum peak operating time is very handy. Have it. Uh, do I want to get rid of that? We'll think about it. We'll think about it as we play along. Okay. Did that even save? I don't think I did. <laughs> we need to get some more crew though, because we've used up a few of our people. Done. And we are poor again, but we have a better ship now, so it's working out. Let's get that switched out. Okay, once again, I don't think there's going to be pirates here, but you never know. The pirate base in this situation is pretty awfully placed. <laughs> nope, there are fleets nearby. One of them's ours, though. Why is it going around without its transponder on, though? Very weird. This is like some kind of battlefield over here. Okay, anyway, let's head off. Let's head off into the void once again. I think with the ship, though, we can probably go back to that other bounty location and just stay there for a while to get some experience and stuff, level up and whatnot. Uh, Scepter, this one, go.
Yeah, so apart from that, everybody, we're just going to keep trying to level up and whatnot. So I think if we just keep trying to get some kills, we eventually get more and more ships to help us fight. And then we should start going to get some bigger units and maybe help with the wars and stuff. So when the game gets running a little bit, you'll start probably seeing some meshes on the left-hand side saying invasion fleets are heading off, like attacks, attacks are being sent off and stuff like that. So the game will start conquering the universe by itself. <laughs> we just have to hope that they don't take out our faction right away. Let's go and dock here, shall we? Pirates are this way, weren't they? We know from before there was a lot of pirates. Ooh, is that one there? That was a pirate. God, this, this income is amazing. <laughs> Have 40 grand, thank you. To be fair, this is from base game, and this is from a commission. I think you can always get a commission, so it's not like it's a unique thing, really, but... Ah, it looks like the no cool faction is attacking the enemy pirate base. I would help, but I'll probably die. <laughs> Should we just see their ships in combat? Let's get this. Oh, let's, go, let's go inside. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to have a look at them. I can't see how they're going to win this. There's not enough ships, surely. Look, look. Oh, that's a cool looking ship. Look at this. Oh, it's awesome. Look at, I don't know why it's shooting flares, but still, it's pretty, it looks pretty cool there. That's an even bigger one. Let's get hit by something. Oh. Looks like this faction is based off classic, like, naval kind of ship design. A lot of big old guns, a lot of coverage. See if we can actually kill, kill the station. Ooh, that, <laughs> ooh. Well, that didn't go very well. Well, I feel like I can't help here. I'm going to be leaving. Good luck with this friend. I won't be able to do much damage anyway to that station. It's a bit too powerful for me. We'll be back to kill stations later on, everybody. It's fine. Okay. Where's the just map? Quite far away. They get there one day. So that's kind of annoying for us though, because it might mean that the enemy has pretty much just wiped out the pirates in this sector. So <laughs> we have to find enemies somewhere to fight. Oh, don't exit campaign. Uh, what am I doing? Full retreat. We have to give the game a few seconds. There you go. Let's figure it out. That so let's go and look over by this point over here. Is there pirates over here? There's summon. Mm -hmm. Hello? I think it's just a smuggler, because it would have tried to kill me by now. Hmm, that's not good though. We need to find some more enemies. The bounty's gone. That could be why. Um, there are some actual bounties far away. Let's go for one of these bounties. So, he is rumoured, so who are we going to kill? We are going to be killing Apollo Kinney. He is rumoured to be hiding out near a barren world in the system of a giant primary star. So, in the new sector, Constellation. So, we got two locations, I guess. Let's go over here. The problem is we're not going to have enough fuel. So, if we go in over here, we may actually want to buy a freighter, actually. We need more supplies as well, actually. We need a lot, we need a lot of things. <laughs> we need everything. Hi. So, friend, could you have a freighter I could buy? No. <laughs> there are no freighters to buy. Never mind. We could probably get there with just a few of our own ships. Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, let's go give that a shot then. Do we need anything else? I don't think we do, actually. I think we're good to go. Let's head up. Bounty is also another good way of making money at the start of the game. We will be promoted though, it's fine. At least we're, because it's the start of the game anyway, at least we go at really high speeds because we got the uh, really small ships, so we go super fast. 
I'm surprised how quickly that bounty lasted though, because they already killed <laughs> that bounty for that system is already over. The the AI just killed everybody in their own system there. I like how the music like changes in and out every time you go over one of these spaces. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Are you here? That looks like a barren world to me. Let's go and jump into it. Oh, that's not a barren world. Over there. It's just some disabled AI death machines. It's totally fine. Okay, I think this is probably where the guy's going to be. No. No! He's not here. He must be in the other one. Well, I made a mistake. <laughs> to the other place. Can I reach that and head back? I'm going to bank on that. I can find fuel off his ship after I kill him. And then we can use that to head back to the core sector. <laughs> if we can't, well, we die, everybody. Suppose so that. What is this? A random dead freighter. And we got fuel from it. See, it's, it's fine. You ain't got to worry about fuel in the space. <laughs> you just randomly find some floating stuff. Okay. What is this? A prospector. Let's head over this way. You, do you want to kill me? What kind of prospector are you? <laughs> They're prospecting our lives. No. Super combat mode, go! Go for this guy. I need to step up my gear, everybody. I need to be better, stronger, faster. I love the high-velocity driver. I mean, yeah, it's not doing much damage to the enemy there at the start, but... Ooh, very nice. It's about control, though. It's about control, everybody. Very nice. Good job, man. Excellent. Was there one more? Yes, there is. Oh, so I need a tanker. <laughs> Do you want to join me, buddy? We have a slot open for a tanker. Oh, he's getting away. <gasps> Did I stop it? Oh, he's going to get away, though. Quick, go, go, go. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> Engage. That guy was so close to escaping, he <laughs> just got ruined at the last second. Well, there you go. I'll take it. Ooh, a high value prisoner. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We have way too much stuff right now, but the spies will go away anyway. It's fine. I have not leveled up, but we're getting there. I bet he did anything. I sucked. <laughs> Damn it, me. Tents of strength and shield keep have been increased. Fair enough. I feel like what we might do with this, I did mention it a second ago anyway, maybe we should get some cheaper point defense, or maybe we should try and get this up. We'll, we'll think about it. Anyway. Hello? There is two, four barren worlds here, so he's going to be one of them. There's a dude this way. Is it an enemy, or is it something else? It doesn't seem to be moving, though, so I think it's like a... Oh. Explore. Ooh. Our blueprint package. I'll take it. Uh, some guns. There's some... Other stuff. Okay, he's not here. He's not here. Let's go for the other ones. What if we can't find him? <laughs> we don't know where he is, sir. 
could be anywhere. You over here? Nope. We're running out of wells. There's four here. There's two left. He must be here, surely. Have I made a drastic mistake? There's stuff everywhere. It's been near the sun, apparently. Even if we can't find the guy, at least there's stuff we can look at, though. Uh, AI equipment cache. Ooh. Shield shunts. The other protocol. Ooh. Interesting. There's so much stuff we're just picking up. <laughs> it's great. Oh, wow. <laughs> I already have this. Scala Tech Weapon Blueprints. DME Civil. What is going on? Why am I so lucky? <laughs> what have I found? Everything. What? Attachyon Lance. This is ridiculous. Our luck is maxed out, apparently, everybody. We have maximum luck. Well, we can't really hold all this, to be honest. <laughs> if it... <laughs> hmm. It's fine. We can sell this for a profit. <gasps> oh, no. That's some kind of AI. To keep that away from me, game. Oh, my shields are out. Not good, not good. These are very nimble enemies. Uh, oh, I can't really do anything now. I'm just gonna. How's this going over there? It looks like okay. Okay, we're back. At least my point defense is very good, though. <laughs> it's just a long-range sadness right now. You think you could escape me? I got a jet mode. <laughs> Finish him off. Excellent. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. He looks like he's okay, actually. But I don't think you can kill him either. Why, hello there. Good job. Missiles are great at killing enemies, so I gotta give him that. I don't think I could take any of this. With <laughs> the, the, we take the fuel, though. Level up. No, we still haven't leveled up. Damn. <gasps> Ooh, officer promotion. Comes of combat endurance. She's the same as me. Promote the ship commander. Welcome. What's your name? Alicia Procon. Welcome to the fold, my my beautiful assistant. Let's take on the enemies. Okay. Weapon cache again. Did I already look at this one? No, this is another one. There's so much stuff in the system. The system's like a crazy thing. So, but I can't help but notice there is a distinct lack of the man we need to kill. <laughs> there is one more target we can look at. Have I messed up with the primary star designation? Have I like got that wrong? I don't think I have. If I have, that's very embarrassing. He's not here. What? <gasps> The bounty's gone! No! <laughs> We've been looking for nothing the entire time. Well, that's awkward. So... It turns out, everybody, the guy left. <laughs> and I didn't even realise. Let's head back home anyway. Uh, at least we got some good stuff here, though. We found loads of stuff we can look at. Let's do some uh, quick 
scavenging on these fields, though, while we're here. Scavenge away. Requires... It will be fine. They probably won't be fine, actually. I'm going to do it anyway. Screw it. <laughs> that was not worth it. Okay, that was not fine, everybody. That was not worth the time. Class destroyer. Well, I think we got some good stuff here. Let's head back to civilization. Not the enemy base, though. Not that one. Not that one. That one. I'm a bit worried about the, f the amount of supplies we have, but it it's going down very slowly, so. Unless we run into a corona of a star. <laughs> Stay back, random sensor signal. Oh. <gasps> Probably should have tried to avoid that, but I didn't. So, <laughs> here we are. But be careful with those green enemies. It could be the church or it could be the, uh, the path. Well, so far we just made money from this, the AI giving it to us, which I guess is okay. <laughs> Look, it's fine. Don't worry about it, everybody. That was a pirate raider there. Maybe let's not go into that direction. Let's go here. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's fine. Luckily, the pirates here. I'm now I'm terrified of that AI way to start fight at the start. These pirate ships are pretty weak. No! Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it! It's there! <laughs> well, this ship definitely killed that quickly. My friend's being attacked quite a bit. There. There's a wolf! There's a pirate wolf, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this um, front gun to get more capacity and stuff for the main weapon. Oh, he's been hurt already. That's not great news. Let's go and help him out. I want to focus on the wolf if we can. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. They have no shields, those things. So they're pretty easy to take care of. Okay, I'm going to go for this guy on the flank. Oh, that wolf's on me right away. Oh. Trying to back up with the speed, but oh my, 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 my damage is... Oh no, I've been damaging the engine. Which I think I have. The cowboy attack here, but we survived, it's fine. That wolf is a big annoyance, so it needs to go down. Those, yes, missiles. Yes, he's dead, he's dead. It's over. No, it bounced off. <laughs> Missile engaging, sir. It just bounced off. Oh. Is he putting back? Yeah, he's left. He's been damaged, so he's out there. We can kill this guy easily, though. This is like the easiest king to kill in the entire game. That has a lot of missiles, though. Victory. I'm pretty well. Oh. No, no, no. V oh, very nice, everybody. Very nice. Uh, we are going to take some supplies. There's loads of weapons we can probably take as well. As we are actually... Let's take everything. We've leveled up. We've done it. We've achieved something in our lives. I want to go for uh, this one. <laughs> so I get more speed, for sure. Did I forget to upgrade both of them to... Um, yeah, let's go for that as well. I like having good skills, what can I say? Are we in the system? We are. Okay. So what I said I was going to do anyway, because I think it would be more efficient than me using this uh, giant gun here. Let's get rid of that. Let's go for... I really want some kind of range increase, but I don't think we can get that to later. But what we can do, though, is massively increase the capacity 
and probably also get some additional flux dissipation. This should make us a lot more versatile, I think. Maybe if later on we can get like a really basic, like, um, what, what's that missile the enemy was using earlier? The infinite firing one that keeps going around behind the enemies. I think that'd be a very good fit for this, because it'd be very cheap and it will always keep the enemy on edge. This guy seems pretty good though, she seems to be doing, doing a great job by herself though, so we'll leave her be. What are your traits? Uh, ne negative to 20% shield upkeep and plus 10% sensor strength. Not great really, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, what have I got? I have negative 5% damage, but 15% raised sh uh, shield rate, so also pretty awful. It's fine. <laughs> Damn it. Not really what I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, let's go and dock into a nearby station, and I think that we'll call it a day, everybody. It seems very slow at the moment. Have we got some damage or something? We're very slowly get speeding up. It may be to do with our... Oh, over carrot can capacity. There you go. The Imperium. Oh, music. <laughs> There's music, sir. It's appeared out of nowhere. I don't know what to do. I'm not going to sell this because I think there was a thing where AI could learn ships of other people you sell to them. So we're not going to sell this anywhere apart from my own place. Just in case I accidentally start a horrific situation. <laughs> Done. Ship Bazaar. Wait, what kind of ships have they got? What is this? It's a bunch of random ships for sale. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Interesting. Right, everybody. That is it for the first episode today. We'll be carrying this on for a little bit, hopefully. Uh, I'm, I will say we're going to try and just take over a lot of the sector as we can. This, this is why it's called Galactic Conquest. We will try to take over a lot of the space. As we get bigger, we will start being able to like assist with actual combat. We'll be able to get big fleets and we'll be able to go and take over stations and govern them and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. But at least until then, we've got to try and build ourselves up and become a stronger person. But everybody, I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.